Zer's in the hangar in the tower. He's currently selling the Season of Opulence armor. This is a really good armor set. Be aware that the shader that's attached to this armor set is actually dropping. So all you have to do is buy the armor and dismantle it. And that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure it's a hundred percent chance. If not, it might be like a small chance, but I'm pretty sure it's a hundred percent chance. It's a really good black and gold and uh, purple shader. It just be aware that the e shader is a little finicky to use. But other than that, let's get into the armor set. So for the arms, I'm going to be real with you guys. For Warlock, I usually look out for resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, and strength. Mobility is the last thing I think about because you don't really need it. So for me, I would immediately ignore this. I mean, a plus one on discipline and recovery is nice. And if you bump up the resilience to a plus 10, then that'll be a plus two if you master Rick it. But I'm looking for a plus two immediately, at least a 20 and something. So you could probably tell me, oh, well, strength would be a plus 10 if, or a plus two if you if you masterwork it, but strength is like the lowest on the totem pole for me. Opulent Scholar Robes is better, but also not that great. Um, again, recovery is like the first thing I think about for, for a Warlock because it's attached to your Rift. Uh, resilience is nice, but at the cost of recovery, I don't think it's that good. The... This is actually okay. I mean, this one's way too low, but you can you can counteract that because the strength is pretty decent. I would probably bump up the recovery a little bit more, but again, I I tend to like discipline a lot more than strength for warlocks. And then for this one, again, too low discipline, but if you do bump up the recovery to a plus 10 and masterwork this, you'll have a plus two on resilience and recovery, so that's pretty cool, but nothing that really wowed me let me know what you guys think in the comments below as for the titans i think the mark is probably the best piece from this whole set personally i'm not the biggest fan of any of the pieces it also is unfortunate that they chose this armor set when they could have chosen literally any other piece because a lot of the pieces in this set remind me of the destiny one armor set that we got in destiny 2 which is unfortunate but i mean here we are for the arms we're going to be looking at hmm I'm personally not a fan when mobility goes above 10. So for me, I would ignore this one. Uh, I also would ignore this one. This one's actually decent. Oh my God. This one's actually pretty good. Uh, resilience at 16 is fine. And discipline is fine at 16 as well. I would probably bump up the recovery to 23 just because resilience doesn't need it. And discipline doesn't need it. Especially if, if you masterwork this, it'll be 18. So it'll be 18, 25, 18. That's completely fine. I think it'll that's most in most cases. That's a plus two. So it's fine. Uh, ignore the boots. The boots are way too high mobility. So Titans, let me know what you guys think about your armor set. Again, I, I always come down to if you guys don't have any of these armor pieces and you can afford it, get them all because you might never know when someone in one look, it looks good. So it's always I always fair in the side of like it's better to be safe than sorry or it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it so just just what I think about it as for the hunters I think the helmet and the cloak is probably the strongest pieces from this whole set although the chest piece is very usable I think the boots and the arms are probably not the best but still kind of usable it's just honestly it's the purple stone that really just bugs me. Other than that, I mean, the whole set looks pretty cool. For the arms, we're going to be looking at... <sighs> Resilience is pretty nice. You know, I would probably pair this with uh, Powerful Friends. So that way I can have a 30. Because at that point, you would have a 30-30 for Mobility and Resilience. Because if you have Powerful Friends, that's a plus 20. And then add a resilience uh master or not master it but add a resilience uh mod to it so that way you can get a plus 10. that'd be pretty gross actually because then at, at that point you could probably get another piece that has high recovery to even it out uh opulent stalker mm, not a fan mm, actually you do a plus 10 on mobility and powerful friends well i mean that's assuming you don't pair it with this one but if you add if you had powerful friends to this this would be what 27 so 27 on mobility and if you want you can bump up the recovery a little bit more that's actually pretty decent <clears throat> i don't know we'll see uh not a fan 
even with powerful friends as a 30 24 it's a weaker version of this one um uh, not a fan of this one either so that's pretty much it hunters let me know what you guys think again if you guys want to pick up the shaders pick up an armor set and just dismantle it uh, it's a really good shader uh just again it is kind of finicky for the weapons themselves we're going to be looking at grave robber demolitionist for true prophecy which is eh i mean i already have a good pro true prophecy so i'm probably just gonna ignore this one uh grave robber and demolitionist for enigma's draw which is okay weird uh scale velocity threat detector and osmosis which is not ideal i think the best perks for this one is like overflow and uh overflow and something else i don't remember uh it's the one that i have on my vault personally Seven Sarah CQC with Slideshot and Vorpal, which is, you know, dude, it's a pretty good role for PvP. But as I say that, I'm not a fan of Vorpal Weapon in PvP because it's so niche. Like, it's so situational where it's like, when when are you ever shotgunning someone with a Vorpal Weapon? And even at that point, like, will Vorpal even give you a good chance to kill the enemy outright? No, it won't. Most of the time, it won't. So... It sucks too because it does have full choke and assault mag, which is two perks that I like to see on shotguns, but whatever. We have punch out, which, or punching out, I should say. I'm not a fan of this at all. I'm not going to even look at it. Uh, negative studies, I'm not even going to look at it. Stars in shadow with uh, two reloading perks. And that's okay. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not a fan of this pulse rifle. I probably would not pick this up, although I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As for exotics, we have opening shot for Hawkmoon, which is pretty nice. We have Dead Man's Tail with Force Times the Charm. This one is unfortunate because this is actually the perk that I think is the go-to for PvE. It's just unfortunate that they nerfed this gun to the fucking ground because they really didn't have to. Um, Very unfortunate. I'm going to be sad because this is going to use a lot for PVE, but I would still suggest picking this up. You could, you might never know if they buff it in the future. So having a fourth time is a charm, uh, scout rifle is really, really good, especially when it has a cranial spike chaining precision grants bonus target acquisition and range. Oh, so no damage anymore. Unfortunate. Why the fuck would I use this then? Unfortunate. We have two tailed Fox. I, I already have this. I don't want to pick it up because I have no reason. But if you don't have it, I mean, it's pretty good. One of the rockets is void, which means it does uh, uh, suppress, if I remember correctly. Uh, Wormhust Crown. I don't, so here's my dilemma. Uh, if you put up plus 10 on resilience and for some reason, powerful friends, it'll be nice. It's just that I don't know, like. It feels weird not having high recovery, but for Wormhouse Crown, do you even need high recovery? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We have ACDC Feedback Fence. This one's okay because bump up the re resilience to a plus 10, which will get you 18, 18, 18. And then if you master work, it'll be 20, 20, 9, 18, 11. It's fine. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd waste three, three gold uh, balls on this one, on this exotic specifically. And controversy hold with really stacked perks. Okay, so let's let's look. Resilience is at nineteen, which is super nice. Recovery is at eight, which is okay. But if you put a plus ten on recovery, it turns into an eighteen, which is nice. Then discipline's sixteen is nice. Intellect twelve is fine. And if you master work this, a 21 in resilience, a 20 in recovery, an 18 on discipline, and a 14 on intellect, I would immediately pick this up. I actually did pick this up before I made the, uh, this video. I actually did record one, but I was recording the wrong screen like the fool that I am. And for the exotic, let's actually use a exotic cipher because I did pick up an exotic already. Omni Oculus. Okay, you have, you have potential, dog. You have potential to really impress me or really piss me off. So the first exotic was this one, Kepri Sting, which I don't know if I like or not still, but we'll see. I mean, it's not the worst I've ever seen. It's just no one uses Kepri Sting, so we'll see. All right, you good? 
Mm, you're better than than the fucking Omnioculus that I have right now currently. Barely. Mm, I I have to I have to see this now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know this. I know I usually don't do this, but I have to see this. So this is my Omnioculus. Uh, oh, it's a hundred. It's not. I. No, it's not bitter. No, it's fine. It's it's not the end of the world. So I'm just a little sad because I was hoping it was going to be good because I do want to replace my Omni Oculus at one point. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do apologize that I haven't been pumping out as much content as I usually do. It's just that my arm still hurts. Like this pinch nerve is not fucking off. So if it hurts you even more, like, I guess in next this month, then I'm probably going to have to go to either the doctor or chiropractor because I need this shit fixed. It's not fun anymore. This shit is fucking ag aggravating. So we will have more content to come. I probably will be making a few videos of, around some discussions that the Destiny 2 community has had over uh, Divinity, which I know I may, I told you guys I was going to do a while ago. I still want to make that video because I do think it's important. Um, I also want to talk about some other things that the Destiny 2 community has been talking about. I also want to bring up some discussions that I think we need to have about like stuff. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on social media, let's are in the description below. Thank you guys for being so good to the channel and giving me comments. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.